video I'll show you how we can add the network storage into Samsung smartphone so if we go here into files so here is my files and in my files you can see all of these uh, storage paths which are available so internal storage SD card OneDrive Google Drive and so on so here is a feature called network storage this is a new app which is available uh, for quite some time in uh, Samsung phones so I'll be adding a new network storage so three options will be available FTP server SFTP server or Samba server so I'll be using network storage Samba server I'm using a Synology NAS so I'll tap here and it will search for it otherwise you can add manually if you know the IP address and other details so I'll be adding the details here okay so these are the server details uh, so server IP address server port sorry this one is wrong it's 192 and then the port default port for samba server is always 445 and then user id password and here you can add the name so it's synology nas and then add here so you can see here the moment i add it will detect all the folders available in my Synology NAS so I'll be going into phone backup and you can see here I have created two folders inside it one is Android and one is iPhone so I'll be going back here and I'll simply copy one of the files from here for example if I go to internal storage and suppose these are travel documents which I want to make the backup of so I'll be copying this from here copy and then move to the network storage Synology NAS and here is phone backup and Android and copy here you can see here now this particular file has been copied to my Synology NAS directly so I can access this on my network now and similarly I can completely copy all the folders all the files to the NAS and in case if you want to do the backup do the auto backup there are various options available you can do the synchronization between the folder between your network folder and between your iphone folder or android folder you can use various applications which are available tasker is one of the plugins that i'm using here is tasker so using tasker also you can automate various tasks depending upon uh, your needs and requirements so keep watching the channel subscribe to the channel so that you can get to know all about the new features which are available in android or windows or iphone see you in next video take care and goodbye